Here we have 6.1 solving a radical equation that simplifies to a quadratic equation. One radical advanced. So the same thing, I do not need to isolate my radical, it's already good to go. But I do need to square both sides of my equation. So on this side, I'm going to end up with y minus 3 times y minus 3. And on this side, the radical and the square will undo each other. And over here, I have to actually FOIL this out. Be very careful not to just say it's y squared minus 9, because that is incorrect. A square means this thing times itself. So when I take y minus 3 times itself, I actually end up with y squared minus 3y minus 3y and then a positive 9. And if I combine my like terms, I end up with y squared minus 6y plus 9, which is not what you're going to get if you just try to square these guys individually. Okay? So be sure that you square that binomial properly. Now I do have a quadratic still, so I am going to minus 24 on both sides of my equation and add 4y to both sides of my equation. What I get left over is y squared minus 2y um, minus, I believe, 15, but let me make sure because my brain does funny stuff after I've been doing calculus all day. Okay, yes, negative 15, and these two wipe out, and I get 0. So then here I will factor this into y minus 5 and y plus 3. So I get y equal to positive 5 for this factor and y equal to negative 3 for that factor. Now I do have to check those solutions, though. So check y equal to 5 means I will have 5 minus 3 equal to the square root of 24 minus 4 times 5. So this is 2, this is 24 minus 20, which is the square root of 4, and the square root of 4 is 2. So this one does check out. Now let's check y equal to negative 3. So I get negative 3 minus 3 equals the square root of 24 minus 4 times negative 3. Here I get negative 6. Here I get 24 plus 12. I get 36. And the square root of 36 is 6. But negative 6 does not equal positive 6. So in this case, this number does not work. Check out. So I only have one solution here, and it is 5. Now similarly, I can solve this problem here. The square root is already isolated, so I can square both sides. Now on the right-hand side, the power and the root will undo each other. On the left-hand side, I do need to boil out this binomial times itself. So w squared minus w minus w plus 1. Combine my like terms, w squared minus 2w plus 1. And then I have a quadratic because of the w squared, so I'm going to move these two terms over to the left hand side. So then when I'm finished, I end up with w squared minus 11w plus 28 equal to 0. So I can factor that into w minus 4, w minus 7. So then I get w equal to 4 and w equal to 7. And then, of course, we do have to check um, both of our solutions. So checking w equal to 4. I'll plug it into the original problem. So 4 minus 1 equals 9 times 4 minus 27. So this side is a 3. And then I get 36 minus 27 which is 9, square root of 9 is 3. So this answer checks out. Now I'm going to check w equal to 7. So plugging it into here. 7 minus 1 equal to the square root of 9 times 7 minus 27. So here I get 6. Here I get 63 minus 27. 
which is the square root of 36, and the square root of 36 is 6, and so these are also equivalent, so that one also works. So I get two answers here, 4 and 7. So both of my answers are actual solutions.